Good afternoon and salam ibu paratiliku. And now for world news. New Zealand officials said today the situation on White Island, the volcanic island where an eruption earlier in the week killed eight people, remains highly volatile, with a risk of a further eruption over the next 24 hours at 40 to 60 percent. That means recovery officials did not yet plan to access the island to retrieve the bodies of eight people who have been officially classified as missing. More than two dozen people are being treated for their injuries in hospital. India today moved thousands of troops into the northeastern state of Assam as violent protests erupted against a new law that would make it easier for non-Muslim minorities from some neighboring countries to seek Indian citizenship. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Hindu nationalist government has said the so-called Citizenship Amendment Bill was meant to protect besieged minorities. Critics say it undermines the country's secular constitution by not offering protection to Muslims, while others argue it will open India's northern state to a flood of foreigners. As India's upper house of parliament passed a bill early this morning, protests took place across India's northeast. In Assam, protesters defied a curfew, torching cars and tires and chanting anti-Modi slogans. Two Katyusha rockets landed near the outside perimeter of Baghdad International Airport yesterday. A statement from the military said there were no reported damages, and there was no report, uh, immediate claim of responsibility. Wednesday's attack came two days after four Katyusha rockets struck a base near Baghdad International Airport, wounding five members of Iraq's elite counterterrorism service. Well, that's all the news updates for now, but stay tuned for more. I'm Razi Ahmad for TV Sarawak. Thanks for watching. Kehangatan mula terasa. Sejarah dilakar, nama dicipta. Lahirnya atlet negara. Nantikan kemunculannya. Ayo bersama kami, kita hangatkan dengan laporan terkini Sukan Sarawak 2019 hanya di TV Sarawak.